In 1997, thousands of Shachos came to the street demanding religious freedom and reopening of Nyingmapa institutions. But the government violently repressed the movement. Gomchen Karma, a Nyingmapa monk, was shot and killed by Zondal Hapadorji. And Kembotinle Wezer, chief abbot of one of the institutions, was arrested, tortured, and imprisoned. Soon, the exodus of Nyingmapa monks and their families from eastern Bhutan started, with them ending up in Nepal. Each passing day, the political and refugee problems are getting more and more complex, and the bilateral dialogue remains deadlocked. In 1992, King Jigme Singhe Wangchuk declared in the parliament that he would abdicate the throne if he did not solve the problem within three years. Nonetheless, he continued to rule far beyond the three-year deadline without solving the problem, and only on 15th December 2006 did he abdicate, handing over his responsibilities to his son. The monarchy in Bhutan has always been apprehensive of two institutions, namely theocracy and democracy. Until 16th December 1907, Bhutan was a theocracy ruled by the incarnations of the revered Lama called Shabdrung. But with the blessing of the British, Ugen Wangchuk, the governor of Tongsa province, established the monarchy in Bhutan on 17th December 1907. On 12th November 1931, the 6th Shabdrung was assassinated when he attempted to revive his traditional authority. His subsequent incarnations were subjected to a similar fate. Babu Karchung was assigned by the central government to assassinate Eight Shabdrung in 1953. He directed his henchmen to detain him in Tashkanzong. He was later on suffocated to death. The ninth Shabdrung took asylum in India at the age of eight and passed away in 2003. Food poisoning was suspected. On 2nd November 2003, the tenth Shabdrung was born in Tashiyangtze in Bhutan and brought to Buddha Gaya in India. The tenth Shabdrung was recognized and confirmed by 17 Karmapa. However, Bhutan government took him from Budgaya deceitfully and made him stay in Chirang as an ordinary monk. What will be his fate, no one knows. <laughs>